So, um, I would just like to start off with some statistics. And uh, according to census.gov, as of 2010, there are 157 million females in America and 151 males. And according to America, or AmericanProgress.org, in 2010, women who worked full time only earned as much as 77% as their male counterparts. And even though women are pacing, are surpassing men in getting into colleges and getting college degrees, they don't make as much money. And college educated women earn 5% less than their male counterparts in the first year. And then 10 years after, they only have, they have 12% less. So as you keep progressing, it get, the number gets, the, the gap gets bigger and bigger. And at retirement, the difference is $14,000, which is a heck of a lot of money. And that's males make 14000 more than females. So as you can see, the college education doesn't mean money necessarily, and males are just paid more because they're males, which is kind of ridiculous. So that's... Um, and Alex said that 50% of undergrads are females. But that could be putting into account a lot of different things. So I'd like to conclude with a, with a quote from Bill Clinton, who, as I mentioned before, was the President of the United States. So he states, Affirmative action is an effort to develop a systematic approach to develop the doors of education, employment, and business development opportunities to qualified individuals who happen to be members of groups that have experienced long-standing uh, discriminations. So President Clinton is absolutely right and all affirmative action does is help people get more educated which doesn't necessarily mean that they'll make more money. So this is why we cannot eliminate affirmative action. Mend it, not end it. Vote negative. Thank you.